hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials youtube channel today in this video we are going to create a beautiful menu design for the website using html css and very simple javascript as you can see on my computer screen if i click on this cross icon this menu will be moving up now this menu is hidden if i click on this menu icon you can again see this menu if i take cursor over any menu links you can see the hover effect the font weight of the menu text is increasing and you can see this horizontal line also let me click here again and you can see this menu is moving very smoothly so we will learn how to create this menu design using html css and javascript so let's start this video here in this folder you can see i have added one index.html file one style.css file and i have two images which is close.png and menu.png you can find these images download link in the video description now let me open these code file with my code editor which is visual studio code this is the html file where i have added basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding font family and box sizing these css properties will be applicable for all the html elements in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file now we will add code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page so here we will add a div with the class name container next we have to add the css for this container so just add this class name here in this css file and here we will add width and height then we will add the background and in the background we will add one color code here we will add position relative and overflow hidden that's it after that let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser now you can see this plain color on this web page let me close this browser and i will open this web page with the visual studio code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file and save the code file so you can see the same web page let me come back and here within this container we will add one image and here we will add the file path so here we will add menu.png which is the menu icon and for this one let's add a class name menu icon after adding this let's open the web page again and you can see this icon in the top left side so we have to change its position so let's copy this class name menu icon and add it here in this css file here we will add width then position absolute then let's add the top and right cursor will be pointer now you can see the perfect position for this menu icon now again come back to the html file and here we will create another div so let's add a div with the class name menu box and within this menu box we will add one button and one cross icon on the right side so here we will again add a div with the class name right links that will be in the right side so in this one we will add one clickable link so i am using a tag which is anchor tag and here we will add the button text link text get started and after that there will be one icon so img tag and write the file name close.png you can see this cross icon and this link get started let me come back and first we will add the css for this menu box just copy this one write it here and for this menu box we will add width so width will be 80 percent and uh, background then we will add position position will be absolute top and left 
there will be some space inside this box so we will add padding now you can see this dark color for this menu box in this box we have this link and this cross icon so we have to move this one in the right side let's come back and copy this class name write links and paste it here in this css file for this right links again we will add position position will be absolute then top and right display will be flex and align items now it is in the right side next we will design this button and this cross icon so let's copy this one and in this one we have added the img tag so we will add img width will be 50 pixel then margin from the left side cursor will be pointer now in this right links we have a link with the a tag so for this a tag we will add text decoration none then color will be white which is triple f then we will add background after that some space so we are adding padding and border radius now this get started button looks good and this cross icon also looking good next we will add some link text in this menu box so after closing of this div which is right links here we will add another div with the class name menu links within this div we will add a tag and write the link text it is home which is first one let me duplicate it and change the link text after adding this you can see these links here which is horizontally aligned so we have to change its color and alignment and we will add some spacing so let's come back and copy this class name menu links then write a tag and here we will add text decoration none color will be white display block and width it will be fit content then we will add some space so margin and we will increase the font size now these menu links looks good next we have to add one horizontal line in each menu links so let's come back and here we will add this one then after in this after we will add content it will be empty then width it will be 40 pixel and height 5 pixel then we will add the background After that display, display will be inline block, margin from the left side 10 pixel and margin from the bottom. Now you can see one line in each menu links. Next we have to hide this line, it will be visible whenever we will take cursor over any menu link. So let's come back and here we will add display none so it will be hidden now you can see it is hidden next we will add the hover effect let's copy this one and here we will add hover 
then write font weight 700 again write this one and here we will add after in this one we will add display display will be inline block after that you can see if I take cursor over any menu link the font weight is increasing and you can see this horizontal line in red color so this hover effect is working fine next we have to add the click event on this menu icon and on this cross icon so that it will hide and display the menu so let's come back and come to the HTML file just above this closing body tag we will add a script a script open and closing tag in this one we will add JavaScript we have to hide this menu box so here we will add one ID let's add an ID menu and here in this script we will add one variable where menu equal to document dot get element by ID and write the ID that we have created right now it is menu like this and after that we have to create functions so here we will add function close menu in this close menu function we will add menu dot style dot top equal to minus 100 vh so it will be hidden whenever we will call this function close menu like this let me duplicate it and here we will add the function name open menu and this will become 17 percent that is the current position of this menu so after applying this we have to call this function so when we will call this function called close menu we will call it when we will click on this icon close icon so here we will add on click equal to close menu like this and open menu will work here in this image which is menu icon so here we will add on click open menu like this so whenever we will click on this menu icon it will open the menu and whenever we will click on this close icon it will close the menu after applying this again refresh the website and let's see if I click here it is hidden and if I click on this menu icon the menu is visible but right now this menu is displaying and hiding very quickly so we will come back to the CSS file and here in this menu box we will add transition top one second like this after applying this again refresh the website and if I click here you can see it is moving up and if I click here it is moving down so this menu is displaying and hiding very smoothly so finally we have completed this beautiful menu design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.